And Hawk, a lot of people don't know this about you, but you're an outstanding golfer. You've been golfing your entire life. And there were a lot of crossroads in your career that involved golf and decision making on staying in the game or getting out of the game. Just touch a little bit on that. Well, it was. And, you know, when I played here in Kansas City, uh, we used to play every Monday, you know, during the winter that the weather were permitting that we had just a great group of guys. I love Kansas City. I mean, I really do. I had a great time here. I had a great time playing here. Uh, the people were just fantastic. The fans are terrific. Unfortunately, when I played, we didn't have that good a ball club. We knew it was going to be a good one later on, which it was. It went from here to Oakland, you know, in 68. But uh, there's so many great golf courses here, and this, and I just fell in love, really fell in love with the game here in Kansas City. And when I decided that at the, at the right time that I was going to get out of baseball and try to make it in golf, and of course that was a bad decision, I got $225,000 worth of canceled checks to prove I cannot play golf. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got all the great stories. The thing that I always love when I, I come and visit with you is it could be Ted Williams, it could be Mickey Mantle, it could be Yaz, it could be Kaline, it could be Palmer, it could be Nicholas. I mean, the, the names and the, the experiences you've had are, are up there with anyone's, and I, I know how, how fortunate you must feel for all of that. Well, I'm blessed. I've been blessed. I've always said I was the luckiest guy to ever step two feet on the face of the earth. I had a wonderful mother who was a single parent. She was divorced when I was young. She made 56 bucks a week. And we lived in a little small house in Savannah, Georgia. And I, I went to military school. Uh, I had one of the alumni there who picked up the tab as far as the tuition, uniform, books, and everything else. And, and my mom uh, and I were very, very close. In fact, uh, I was a mama's boy my whole life, and I still am, even though she's passed away uh, a long time ago. And, and uh, she just meant so much to me and, and taught me a lot. I mean, between her and military school, they, they really instilled in me a, a lot of things that made me realize how fortunate and how lucky I was. And, I, you know, I was a great athlete. There's no question about that. And uh, most of that was just dedicated to her, so to speak. Well, it's our privilege to have you today, have had you many times as a guest, and Monty told you off camera, I'll say on behalf of all of us, thank you, Hawk, for not just visiting with us, but all you've done for baseball, and will continue to do so. Thank well, you. I love you guys. I love Kansas City. You know, this is a great organization, and uh, outside of the White Sox, I love this organization more than any other one. Hey, we'll see you next year on a couple of Sundays. Thanks, Hawk. You got it. And